my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the creating retargeting ads using Facebook to sell your course or really to sell anything right I'm going to actually show you exactly what I'm doing right now so you can understand the different things you got to take care of it's it's not too complicated but it's also not super simple so we're going to kind of do a walkthrough and I'm actually going to go and create ads and I'm going to show you all that and we're going to do that but before we get there let's uh, watch this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets right so retargeting so we're going to talk about that and um, I'm going to show you what I've done there's preparation that has to happen that I did uh, last week I did another episode on uh, on this or similar around that area and I prepared lots of things during the week so now I have what I need but before we get into that I want to make sure you know that if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go to cis376 dot j-s-g-a-g-n-o-n dot com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen to show you more of all this how this all works all right so without further ado let me just share my screen over here and show you what I'm talking about all right so you're I'm on Facebook I post I post things regularly uh, but the thing is that how do you get uh, people to see and buy your stuff it's all about well actually what I'm actually doing right now is I'm actually posting about something that I'm offering to explain to people how to do retargeting and all this I'm not retargeting but engagement right but it doesn't really matter what you're trying to do when you're trying to sell on Facebook is trying to get people to know like and trust you that's the number one thing you could just do an ad to your course but that will be really expensive so what you want to do is you want to learn about the retargeting strategies how does retargeting work and if you're not sure let me just kind of give a brief explanation of retargeting so retargeting means that people see something of yours and then you use information that's stored in cookies and in in platforms and things like that to actually see uh, to actually send ads to them so you know just like if like right now you can see I've got this Cato thing in my <laughs> in my ads right here and Russell Brunson because I constantly engage on posts that have to do with keto that have to do with Russell that's why I see those ads now if I go scroll through my feed I see this as well I'm LSP they're retargeting me because I like their stuff I see their stuff if I go through and I look at other ads this is a precious daughter this one obviously is targeted to me because I have my daughter that just got married so this is they probably know that I'm a person that's but that's different that's not retargeting that's that's targeting based on interest based on uh your you know your uh, characteristics if you will right but retargeting is different retargeting is about sharing something based on the fact that they've already seen something so now what we do what do we do um let me just kind of show you first of all I am doing something where I'm selling a piece of software that helps with engagement now that's just what I'm doing right now could be a course that explains how to do that and actually I do have a course for that so maybe I will do that too but I've got this and what I want to do is I want to tell people about engagement strategies and I want them to get to know and like and and trust me while they're seeing these things so what you do is uh you do f five to ten videos I did ten the sweet spot is seven that was from other marketers but I did ten so I've got ten videos right ten videos short little videos that I actually posted to my stories if I look at my story right we can just uh let me see can I yeah so if I just go to my story here I'm not going to turn the sound on let's mute it but I've got 10 can I I'm not sure on the desktop if I can actually see the uh can I no not really sure how I can tell oh yeah like this okay so you can see I've done these 10 stories number one I just call them number one now the reason I put them in my stories my stories is not really where things are going to happen but it does it does kind of prepare it and you've got it in your story it lets you do uh, some stuff with your story but basically what it is is just 10 videos so the reason I use stories is because I recorded with stories then I saved it to my phone and now I have them here uh not here where's my 
oh actually let me yeah let me just uh, do, 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 let me just get that <clears throat> I've got that in here into here under chrome extensions right now under social pool manager and active group users and facebook videos for ads and then you hear stories that's quite a so I've got all these videos right here right so some of them I save without the the text on them and like this one here right is basically a video let's turn the sound off anyways and it's basically a video that includes uh subtitles here so that's when you go to your phone you can actually have subtitles and then you can save it after you've done it so that's kind of what I did all right so I got these videos now after I have the videos because you're doing ads you will have to post them to your store so this is what I did I went to my page my pages right I did that on my phone right but it, but in any case I go to my page I got other pages but I did it on this page and then if I look at my posts that I just did you'll see that whoops where are they I guess they'd be under videos maybe I'm not sure where they show up on the desktop but on the phone you can see them in the posts so now we have these videos engagement bonus these are the videos so if I look at all oh, right you know what I want to do I want to make sure I create a, a playlist with that so let's do that let's do a playlist to make sure that and the reason why you do playlists is because in Facebook if your video is part of a playlist whenever they watch the one video they'll automatically see the other videos in the playlist as part of their things to watch but if it's not in the playlist Facebook's going to show some random video based on their interest based on past experience right so what we want to do is we're going to manage playlist I guess you didn't see that because it was behind my my camera but you go to manage playlist and I'm just going to say new playlist I'm going to call this it's on this page the title is going to be engagement series and uh, learn actually learn how to engage how to grow grow your engagement on Facebook I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to cover image I don't really need one I'm not sure if I let's go next and then I'm going to add videos from my library so these are the ones right so a series these are the ones this one 10 9 8 7 6 five four three two one okay so just those 10 videos right and I'm just going to go like this and publish my playlist so now I have a playlist and all these videos are part of that playlist which just means that if somebody sees one of the videos they're going to be presented these other videos so that's kind of important to do I did that also on my personal if I go to my personal page I also did this uh these highlights thing right so I actually put it in the highlights I uploaded that's why I put it in my story on my personal profile and then I was able to use highlights I also I also uploaded reels can you see reels in the can you see reels on Facebook I don't even know how you get get to see reels on Facebook on the desktop can you see them reels friends about photos sports no um hobbies edit featured yeah I don't really know how you can go see but anyways I uploaded to reels if I uh, let me just kind of show you on my phone here now uh, let's just put that over here let's go into if I go to I uh, did it on Instagram so on Instagram go to my reels so this is pretty insane <laughs> wow look at that I don't know if you can see let me just make it full webcam here but uh here's what I'm seeing on my reels on Instagram right so on Instagram I got 1000 views already I just uploaded it just now I've got another one with 1200 some of them just have a few like see six views on that one so these are the reels I did on my I just uploaded them as reels on my Instagram and I also put it as reels on my um on my Facebook so let me just go to show you the reels on here the thing with Facebook is still they're new on the reel so you basically have to scroll down to to your in your feed right to kind of see where you have the reels and then you can go to my reels I don't know if there's any other way to go to reels you click on my reels and then it loads your reels where you can also create new reels although now it's getting okay and on see on Facebook I didn't get as many views see look at that 11 12 
so five six eight so the point of the reels though is not really that it's not part of what I'm talking about right now it's just to kind of show you what I did with the video so I created the videos I put them in my stories I put them in my reels on Facebook on Instagram and then I uploaded them as posts on my page so um actually we can see it on the phone here if I go to my pages to my page and I go to my posts if I can let it load here okay so you if I scroll through my my posts can't really see that great can you so if I scroll through you can see that's one of them right then I have number 10 here then I have number nine then I have number eight so all of these if I tap them then I can see it and you can see uh if I scroll down so now you can see if I scroll down I see this video right the next video it's going to show is going to be this one here because it's part of this of the playlist then it's going to play this one I don't know why it chose this order but see it shows them right in that order maybe I should maybe there's a maybe I need to update the playlist to be in a certain order let's actually look at that I go back to my page and I go to my playlists yeah that's that's probably important to make the playlist in the right order because I, I don't know if it uh made it in the right order here so where's my playlists Mm -hmm. oh actually I think you got to go to videos right you go to videos first sorry we're not even at the ads but we're getting there we're getting there we're getting to the ads where you do retargeting I just want to make sure we have this manage playlist right here oh let's go back to my webcam sorry about that uh there you go okay so now we go to manage playlists and I just want to edit this playlist right here and I want to reorder see there's a reorder button right here it's going to show I want to order them display by date posted oldest there you go so now it's going to be in the right order and I'm going to save that and that's it and then I don't know if I go back here on my phone is it already updated I go to my posts okay let's just do that so we let's go back to the the webcam so now we have my videos right here right engagement series bonus so actually let's go back let's say I let's say I'm going through the feed and I see video number video number seven right so let's say I say video seven and I just decide to tap on it now seven there's bonus I guess it doesn't really 10 eight but anyways at least there the playlist is showing in the the list of videos is showing okay, that's a point okay so now let's do the ads let's go to the ads let's not worry about the phone anymore let's put this away put it right over here and put it away and now I just want to uh, go to my ads so let's go back to the screen share okay so now we got ads so what we got to do is I already created four of them so let's do the number five here so what you got to do is you got to create two series of ads so you got to create well okay so here's what you got to do so number one you got to create or choose a target audience so target audience let's take notes here let's do some notes I'm actually going to go back to uh where was I here oh I guess that's a different I thought it was okay so let's just do notes new text document notes okay so let's bring that over here so first so number one so do I have that okay so number one number one is you got to create a series of videos number two you got to create a target audience now a target that's a saved audience so now we're target audience now a, a saved audience is an audience where you choose demographics and interests so it's not it's not this is not the retargeting stuff this is the base audience that's going to see your stuff now this is not totally essential you could always just use a retargeting audience but that's that means you won't get lots of people to see your your videos it'll just be organic which might be okay you might be okay with that but by creating a target audience you can actually show your video to people out there based on you know whether they're interested in Tony Robbins whether they're interested in course creation whether they're interested in you know marketing whatever you choose as an a target right that could be anything 
whatever you think your audience characteristics are you create a saved audience okay so then number three you got to create a uh, they call it a custom audience in Facebook so that's your for retargeting retargeting well, now one there is basically an audience of the people who have seen through you know a certain amount of time of your video now I just set it to three seconds so that's just everybody who's seen at least three seconds of one of the videos right then, then number four you got to create you create uh, actually you have to upload upload those videos to your page now you don't again you don't have to do that because you can create ads and upload the videos when you're creating the ad but I prefer to create a post and then uh advertise that post it, it it I don't know it just seems better but I don't know uh number five uh create ads to the videos using saved audience right so using saved audience but this uh, oh wow this is small and let's make this bigger so you can kind of see more of what I'm writing okay so so that then you so this is what we're going to do right now we're going to I already did the target audience I already did the custom audience I showed that in lots of other trainings um so I'm not going to go into the details of doing that but they already have them so I'm going to show you how to create the ads to the videos using the saved audience and then you got to do create ads to the videos using target uh using custom audience okay so that's kind of how you do it now the other thing oh number seven you want to have a single video with a call to action so that means there's only one of the videos I actually did 11 I have 10 videos that have no call to action they're just like you know informational and num and this the last one <coughs> is a video with a call to action with a url to to the thing I'm I'm offering right your course or what I'm selling right now right so that's uh how you do so single video with call to action all the others 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 are pure value your value just means you're teaching something that's of interest that has to do with what you're offering at the end it's got to be all congruent right okay so that's basically what you're doing you're doing that so now let me just go and do that so save okay so now we're going to do um I've done all this and one to four is already done so now I'm just going to go and I've done a few of those but I'm going to show, show you how to do that one there so if I go to my ads manager right here uh let's just say that I want to create you don't need to edit this so just do this okay so now I'm going to create number five I'm going to say it's video views this is what I want I want video views then I'm going to give it a name I want to name every I like to name them all so this number five that makes it easy for me to make sure as I go through I just make sure click on continue right here uh, then what happens is I the, okay so in the ad creation the first thing you got to do is give it a name and a target right is it is it video views is it is it clicks to website those kinds of things whatever it is that you want so then in the next page is your budget so I just put the the least I can possibly spend because I'm doing 10 of them right so it's a dollar 30 a day is the minimum for Canadian I think it's dollar US right then I click on next now I choose the audience I, you can also set a schedule start and end date but I just I'll just pause it if I want to stop it I go to use saved audience right there and I created this audience marketing base this is the one I created for these so I'm just going to do that you can choose automatic placement or manual you can choose where it goes but I just leave it like this and then I click on next and then you got to choose your Instagram account which if you want but you don't absolutely have to but I like to have both of them then I go use existing posts because I already have a post and this is going to be this is number five right so I want to change change the post go find number five right here and I continue right there and basically that's it I don't I could do editing I could do other things but basically that's all I do and then I click on publish Oops, let me move my I click on publish down here right and that'll that'll save the ad uh it has to be reviewed and approved by Facebook and all that first right but that's basically it and then you just click on the close right there and now you're back you're to the list now if I just uh get this out of here 
that out of there out of there now you can see that I have number one to five now so I'm going to create another one I'll just do it a second time because I want to show you uh, the whole process again so video views right you create and then video views I give it a name because I want to keep track number six right I'm going to do the rest later but I just wanted to whoops I, I should have I suppose I can just number six let's do this I should have done this right okay so then I click on continue right here and as I said the first part is the campaign so you choose your budget so I'm just going to put $1.30 for me I click on next then I choose the audience so over here I choose saved audience and it's affiliate marketer base is what I have and then we go next then I choose my uh, Instagram account I say use existing post and then I go change my post to number six because I'm on number six now number six continue now it shows me number six now you can go and click and see what it'll kind of look like on the, the different places where you're gonna where it's going to be shown right just kind of shows you all this right but uh, anyways you just click on publish and that's it it's it's done it's sent for review and then you can push, click on close right here and now it's there in processing right so if I let's just see just for the fun of it let me see if I have I don't know if there any of these are approved they're all processing still okay uh okay so that's the that's the first part this is the this is the video ads using a saved audience now using custom audience I do the same thing again so this is it is a budget you got to have a budget for it right because it is not it's not nothing because you're doing 10 well in my case 11 times 2 so 22 ads each a dollar a day so that's 22 dollars a day you're right so it's better it better return something quickly right but usually you got to leave it running for at least a few days if not a week to see if you get results or not right okay so I'll upload so save okay let's do now let's do create ads to the videos using custom audience all right so now I'm going to go back to ad manager now I'm going to create another ad it's still video views and but this this time I'm going to call them this is going to be number one retarget right this is one retarget one retarget one retarget okay continue and the only difference with this is that the audience this is still going to be a dollar 30 a day for me so I'll click on next and the only difference is that now instead of a it's still a saved audience but it's going to be uh it's going to be the audience I created over in there so it's called uh active group users uh, oh it's got to be custom sorry it's got to be custom I got to click on custom audience uh, custom audience so uh active there it is right there so active group users video views right so this one here so this is my audience that's all I want engagement custom audience there we go and why is it say I don't want Canada oh I gotta save it again okay yeah that's a thing okay so when it's a custom audience basically it defaults it's basically that is your source of people but then you choose where and all that right so I'm just going to say worldwide I don't I, whoever seen my stuff I don't want to so I'm going to go worldwide I don't know if it's one word or two words worldwide world world worldwide so worldwide worldwide where is it region place there you go okay so that's the entire oh no I guess not <laughs> that's not what I want um, what if I do this is it gonna if I delete it okay the age I don't want the age I want the well that's fine I guess gender all genders languages all lang okay everything is fine so that's fine and I want to call this save this audience let's go and call it world active group users 
okay so I got to create this this saved audience based on my custom audience all right so age uh, and then there we go okay <clears throat> okay so that's basically it here world active group users video viewers custom audience from this and then the age and nothing else because if they're in that audience that means I want them to see this um and then next and again it's going to be the same thing over here and I'm going to choose a, an existing post and again it's going to be change the post to number one this is number one there we go and then continue and that's it that's all I don't want a button I don't want anything this is just of an engagement of you video uh ad right so publish and that's it okay so now uh let's do it a second time because the second time I don't have to do this saving of the custom audience thing I'm going to say new campaign uh I'm going to call it video views again and I give it some name a name here it's going to be number two retargeting right two retarget number two retarget number two retarget continue and uh, uh let me see I have to just to do to right over here I got to do a dollar 30 next and then I want to use a saved audience again it's going to be this it's not there in the list so let's just say active group world active group users that's the one I want right and then I just say next and then I choose the Instagram page and I I say use existing post and okay and then I go to do 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 change my post this is number two right so I want number two in here number two <clears throat> and uh there we go and then I just say publish that's it that's how you do retargeting ads now these two last ones I did I'll do all of them right these two last ones are going to show to people who've seen any of the other ones no matter whether it's sought through an ad or through uh, organic they get to see this in there too and I also added in my uh target audience and my custom audience I also added viewers of the reels on Instagram so all that is all in one thing and that's kind of how it works all right so that's how you do retargeting with Facebook ads to sell your stuff we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time